<laughs> Beautiful work, but I think the puzzles I write into my next novel will be even harder than that one. If you have time, stop by later. I'm sure to have an early fascinating puzzle prepared for you by then. A strange gizmo. Let's add that in. We haven't actually looked at that in a minute, I don't think. Let's go ahead and add that bad boy in. There you go. Almost done. He's almost finished. Oh, this guy's gonna have a puzzle, and I'm not gonna like it. Hey, Professor! Looking busy as usual, yep. Oh, I've got this puzzle I just can't figure out on my own here. Can you help me? Can you lend me your thinking cap? All right, here we go. Puzzle of 57. Cut which one is worth 30 points. Below are six linked rings. They may look a tangled mess, but there is one ring that, if cut away, will leave the remaining five rings connected end to end in one long chain. Which one must you cut in order to make the chain? Choose from below. All right, so we need to figure out which one we cut to have all the others linked in one line. Let's see, if we cut A. Damn, this one's hard. Now this is a hard puzzle. We're gonna, we gonna mess up here. I'm not even, I'm not even concerned. Let's see. If we cut A, B is connected to D. Can I make notes? I can't make notes, okay. If I cut A, B is connected to D. D's connected to E. E's connected to C and F. It's not one line. If we cut B, A is connected to D. We need to cut either E or F then. We can go ahead and cancel the rest of them. We need to cut either E or F. I'm sorry, C, E, or F. Oh, shoot. No, wait. That's not right. Hang on. A is connected to... A is connected to B and D. D is connected to A... A, B, and E. Is it B that we need to cut? Let's see. E is connected. E is connected to D. E is connected to D to C and to F. We connect, if we cut E, A is still connected to 2. So it's not E that we're cutting. I think it, I think it is E. Yes, A is only connected. Uh, if we cut E, ah, oh shoot. E is connected to D. C and F. <laughs> Let me see. I think I think I just figured out a way to write this one out. We gotta do like a spider web. And we wanna make one path that we can get from one to one and to another once we remove one of them. So let's see. I'm gonna start with E. <clears throat> e is connected to D. E is connected to D. E is connected to C. And E is connected to F. Yeah, E is connected to F. Okay. Let's put A on this map. A is connected to B and D. Mm 
Okay, A is connected to B and D. Is that it? A is connected to B and to D. Mm hmm. Okay, D is connected. Where you said D is connected to A and E. It's also connected to B. A is connected to B. I'm sorry, D is connected to B. C is connected to B. B and E is not connected to F. C is connected to B and E. Okay. Do I have everything? A is connected to B and D. B is connected to A. B is connected to A. D. E. And C. B. Is connected to D. E. No, it's not connected to E, is it? No, it's not connected to E. Okay. Okay, so going in one straight line, if we get rid of... Is it F that we need to get rid of? F is only connected to E? End to end. Okay, so that means it's a circuit. If we get rid of F, no. If we get rid of F, everything else is connected, right? We can go A, A, B. Shoot, I think that's wrong. Ugh, I don't want to do this puzzle, to be honest. I wouldn't do this one. This one's wild. I also think I was changed form. To make a chain, you have one ring on each end. Each ring between these two be connected to two rings. Okay. So we do want all of them connected. I'll go ahead and blow all these hints. Two rings make up the ends of the chain. Which two here look like they could be connected? It looks like they could be ends. Oh, so they're not connected all the, all the way around. Okay. So there's no loop. If we take out B, shoot, I need to look at C and F again. C is not connected to F. C is not connected to F. If we take out F, it's either F or D because D is connected to three. I did something wrong somewhere. D is connected to A. Mm hmm D is connected to B. Mm hmm And then D is connected to E. Mm hmm This one's confused me. Two rings make up the ends of the chain. If you study the picture closely, you can see that F is only connected to one other ring, E. Meanwhile, the other end is the A ring. What? Oh, I guess we do want to loop. So we're getting rid of F. We're getting rid of F. Oh, finally messed up today. Frankly, I'm ashamed. Oh, I get it. It's not saying we're only removing one. We're just cutting one. So if we cut E, F falls off because it's only connected to E. So then we have A, B, C, and D. I think that's it. 
Okay, I get it now. I get it now. You got me today, Leighton. You got me today. We're cutting E. Luke, here's my answer. Oh no, it's not E either. Ooh, how embarrassing. Well, guess what? We're gonna cut a ball till we figure it out. Leighton got me today, and he got me good. So is it D? That should do it. We're Another cutting D. Solved. Why are we cutting D? If we cut D, A is only connected to B. B is only connected to C. Oh, uh, yeah, B wasn't connected to E. Okay, got it. That's dub. That's dub. <laughs> ah, so that's how you're doing, yeah? I can finally rest at night. This thing was bugging me for days. Let me tell you something neat. And by neat, I mean really terrifying. The thing is that I've actually seen that old man with the big sack coming out of that tower up north. I bet you dollars or donuts that he's the one behind all these disappearances. I wonder what he does up there. Wait, no, I don't even want to think about it. It's just too scary. Pile of books. Luke's room. <sighs> this man really just gave us this puzzle so he could tell us something we already knew. We already knew. Let's ask around town a little bit more. Oh, this my boy here. This my boy here. He's clearly mad about something today. Oh, this time I really had it. I thought of this great puzzle, but I can't think of anyone to tell it to. Was it really great, bruh? A tile square. Puzzle number 76. It's worth 30 picarets. Here we go. You have at your disposal a large number of tiles like the, no, like the one shown below. If you were to try... If you were to take these tiles and try to make a square, what's the fewest number of tiles you need? This one's not too hard. This is not too hard at all. If you want to make a square... A perfect square. A square would be, let's see, 10 inches by 12 inches. The lowest common denominator we have is 60. Uh, I should, I'm sorry, I should say lowest common multiple is 60. So we would need six tiles going one way and five going another. We need six times five. That is 30. Now, is this thing giving me extra information on purpose with this here? <laughs> is it purposely giving me extra information? Because that would be for a cube. A square would be two, uh, two dimensional. It would be this way by that way. If we go this way, it now becomes a cube. I'm saying 30. Nice try, Layton. Nice try, Layton. Or not Layton, but Layton's Polly. Frankly, I'm ashamed. Excuse me? Try the try approaching the puzzle from a different angle and see where that takes you. Excuse me? Excuse me? If I want to make a square, I need I need 30 tiles. I need six going this way. Wait, I did that wrong. I did that wrong, didn't I? 30. Damn it. I want three. Uh, I want three going this way. That'd be 30 there. Oh, I didn't do the right number altogether, did I? I want 60. I want 60 for both of these. So 60 would be six here and five. No, I did that right. I did that right. If I want to make a square, that's the fewest amount. Because this would be 20, 30, 40. 50 that's 50 up there and then this would be 24 oh 60 i need i need to go to 60 24 36 48 60 if i go this way that's a cube not a square six 
60. And then and then what I what I got there is uh 60 20 12 times 5 is 60. And 10 times 6, I do remember what I did here. 10 times 6 is 60. So I need 6 tiles going in this way direction. And then I need 5 tiles going this way direction. All ways to square is if I meet up up top. So that's thir that's 30. I put 30, right? I did 30. Didn't I write 30? Yeah, I wrote 30. If I want this to match, then I need to double that so I get one inch and then multiply that by 60. I'm not wasting these coins. Let's try that. Uh, so that's 30. I came up with 30 there. And if I want this to be 30, I need to double this, then multiply by 30. So that'd be times 60. No, that, that can't be right. That can't be right. It has to be 30. What's the fewest number of tiles I need? 30 tiles. Wait, is the trick? <sighs> this game. Well, here go my all my hint coins. Since the tiles have different length and width, you need to find a number that can be divided by both dimensions. Of course, the puzzle doesn't end there. You'll need to do a little creative thinking in order to find the fewest number of tiles to allow you to form a square. I'm going to blow all my coins, and it's going to tell me the same thing. Don't forget that the puzzle also gives you the thickness. That's not a square, though. That's a cube. That's a cube. 30, with 30 times 60. 30 times 60. I could do a shortcut, but I don't feel like it. It's uh, it's 1,800. This game cheated. This one, this one is wrong. That's not a square. That's a cube. 1,800 tiles. Luke, here's my answer. Frankly, I'm ashamed. <sighs> Let's see. Give me that last hint. Go ahead and take my coins. As the sides of the tile are 10 and 12 inches long, the smallest column and multiple of, yeah, smallest column multiple works out to 60. Therefore, you need to arrange a five times six tile square as a total of 30 tiles. Too simple, in fact, there's a way to make a square using even smaller, even fewer tiles. What? Excuse me? Excuse me with that? There's a way to do it with even smaller time. It doesn't mean use this number with 10, does it? If we go one, if we double this so that we have one inch and then multiply by 10, that's 20 tiles. I hate this game. I hate this game. That's not the right number. 20 tiles. This game. This game, boy, just got all Here's my hit my coins. Another puzzle solved. Chat is losing its mind right now. I'm watching it. I hate this game. The problem is realizing that tiles have death. I hate this game. Oh, come on! I was all ready to tell you this and everything. But no, you had to go and ruin it by us. Before I said it, okay, it was okay, didn't you? Didn't you? Have you ever considered the strong possibility that you might be a jerk? You know what? This game is a jerk. This game is a jerk. Let's talk to her. Is chat still freaking out? Chat is freaking out. I think I might have to disable chat. Yeah, I think I'll disable chat just for just for a hot second. 
Hee hee. Who are you looking for this time? Want to want to rest for a minute and solve this puzzle? Number seventy-seven. Which job? This one's twenty picarets. Good, cause we ain't got no hit coins. Two corporations have put out help wanted ads. Aside from the information below, the two companies offer are exactly the same. From a purely financial standpoint, which one should you work for? Company A will pay you a hundred thousand a year and give you a twenty thousand dollar raise yearly. Company B will pay you fifty thousand every six months and will give you a five thousand dollar raise every six months. Which one should you work from from a purely financial standpoint? So let's see. You get paid fifty thousand every six months. So going off of how much you get paid every year is the same thing until you start getting raises. Let's see. There's no way to make uh, notes on this one. No. No. I, why would I spend my last one? Y'all y'all ain't even doing. Y'all ain't even doing. So let's see. Year one. Year one for A. You're making... You're making what? 100000 For B, you're making 50000 in the first six months and then 55 in the second six months. So you're making what? 5000 more. Year two, you just got your raise from A. So now you you've made all together twenty two. I'm sorry, two hundred twenty thousand at the end of the year, of course. For B, you get two raises. So now you're at you're at sixty in the first six months, and then sixty five in the second. That's one twenty five under what you already have. You are at two one twenty five under what you have. You're at two thirty. I'm gonna do one more year and I think that it's maxed out. I'm sorry, I think that uh I think that the gap is just widening with B being more. Company A, you now get a bonus four thousand a year. So now you're at I'm sorry 40,000 a year So now you're at 140 For that year On to what you already have You're at 360 Thousand And then for B B last you just made 65 So now you're at 70 And 75 for the year That's 145 On to what you already have You're at 3 375 Thousand a year Yeah you should work for B from a strictly financial standpoint. You're making you're making more money in the same amount of time. That should do it. There you go. There you go. Every puzzle has an answer. It's a trick. It's a trick. Do your maths whenever you, you're applying for jobs, ladies and gentlemen. Do your maths. Let's see, I see Chad has called the help. Nope, never mind. Never mind. We'll be all right. Yeah, that's exactly what we just found, isn't it? Uh, no, it isn't. But it still stands. It still stands. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, you did it. Okay. I guess I should give you some info as a reward. You know Lady Dahlia, right? She's planning to keep the fortune to herself once it's found. And you've been helping her all along. Don't you feel so dumb, <laughs> The house plant goes in Luke's room. That goes in Luke's room. All right. Let's do a little bit more exploring before we call it for today. Let's head this way. Is that the right way? Yeah. 
Huh, it's still locked shut. Just when will this place open? I wouldn't get your hopes up. The gate's covered in dust. I don't think anyone's been here for a long time. All right, so we're not getting in there. Let's see if we can find some, uh, I guess not. Oh, there we go. Make me feel a little bit better. All right, let's head out. We can't get in there. Uh, there's nowhere else to really go, is it? Except back up to the, uh, to the clock tower. We're going to head past you two scoundrels. There's no one here. Oh, this man. Let's talk to this man. Not being a member of high society myself, I've never so much as had a conversation with Baron Reinhold. Now, Sonny, much as I like to keep chatting, I'm awfully tired. I think I need to go lie down. Are you feeling unwell, sir? I'm just plumb exhausted lately. It's that awful noise coming from the tower, you see. It's gotten so loud, I can't sleep a wink at night. Do you know what's, do you know what's causing the noise? It's just a rumor, but I hear that every time that sound rips through St. Mysteria, someone disappears. They say the ones who go missing are people who've been talking about feeling tired. But those who disappear are back before you know it, so it's probably just a load of poppycock. Whenever the noise sounds, someone disappears. Interesting. How interesting is that this late in the game, Leighton? We should have known this already. In fact, we did. Do you think the peculiar sound has anything to do with that strange old man who abducted Ramon? It's certainly a possibility, isn't it? But why would he release his victims after going through the trouble of kidnapping them? I think they've been duplicating them. I think they've been making clones and such. Professor, there's something on the ground here. You're right. It appears to be a scrap of paper. Will you check if anything's written on it? Sure thing. Let's see here. The boss complimented my latest model today. He's a good guy, and he's given me a new sense of purpose. I'm sure this is my true calling. I want to perfect my skills so I can repay the man for his generosity. This sounds like a great deal, like a journal entry, doesn't it? Judging by how the writer uses the term, the boss, I imagine he was under the employ of the Baron. I've constructed models just to fit every situation, just like the boss asked me to do. I gotta smile when I see how interested he is in them. That's the end of the entry. Do you suppose this person made some sort of models for a living? Hmm. Alright, so that's probably who we need to ask. Is there a journal we can... Yes, there's a journal we can take a look at. Dope. Uh, oops, wrong one. Let's read the Baron's journal. Oh no, these aren't the same. Is it? Oh, oh, oh. 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 No, these aren't the same. <laughs> these aren't the same as what I'm trying to look at. It's okay. It'll be all right. Uh, let's see. Where can we go from here? Where do we go? There's nobody here. We need to go meet with... We very clearly need to meet with someone who makes models. Ahem. <clears throat> you there. Yes, you. Do you mean me, good sir? Yep, you. This power vase is yours, right? I've been keeping it nice and safe for you. That's a nice vase. Not gonna lie. I've never seen anyone just forget something like this while shopping. You're a vase space case. <laughs> I'm sorry, but you must be mistaken. I've never seen that vase before in my life. What? This fancy vase doesn't belong to you? So why would that guy tell me to give this to you? Hmm? What did this man look like? Well, my hat has a way of obscuring certain details from me. It's the worst, I tell you. Ha <laughs> ha. Brought worst, I get it. Clever. But back to the issue at hand. Mystery man wasn't a regular around here, that's for sure. Don't sweat it, though. I'll just give it back to the guy next time I see him. Speaking of flower vases, I, I know a puzzle I bet you'd like. It's not a hard one or anything, but it's the least I can do for bothering you about the vase. I swear, va uh, puzzles are currency here. Puzzles have to be currency the way they go about this. The Shattered Vase. Ten Pickerettes. Here we go. Someone knocked over this fabulous vase and shattered it. Fit the pieces together and restore the vase to its original shape. There's one catch, though. 
Mixed in with the pieces is a single piece from a different vase. Interdasting. Interdasting. All right, let's see. So these are clearly pieces that need to be here. This one looks like it belongs here. And then this one here. And this one here. And this one here. Dope. When you start a puzzle. Look, here's my answer. Another puzzle solved. When you start a puzzle, it's easiest if you can figure out the corners first and then work your way in. That's exactly what I did. The corners on this vase were the parts with the rims. That makes it very easy to figure it out. Apparently, the vase wasn't much of a challenge, was it? Oh, if only fixing things in real life were this simple. You got a good head on your shoulders. I'm impressed. By the way, you sure you don't want to take home, take some fresh sausages home with you? Believe me, these are some links you don't want to ma be missing, Har Har. No, thank you. We are just fine. Too bad. Not to bust your chops or anything, but that was a one-time offer. Maybe you'd have said yes if you knew what was at stake. Ah, ha, ha, ha. This man. Was it this man? Is this man part of it? Because he's offering food. He's offering food that... We may not want to take, but he wants us to take it. I think we're done here, Luke. <laughs> I couldn't agree more, Professor. They trying to get up out. Hmm. They trying to get up out. What is this? All this trash all over the place. What kind of loud just goes throwing trash on the ground? I'm going to pick it up. It's an old newspaper. Honestly, you think that everyone would know that trash goes in the tr Wait a second. You have to come take a look at this article. Well, would you look at that? It seems to be Inspector Chelmy. Ha ha ha. Look at that. Chelmy hailed as brilliant detective and devoted husband. Chelmy hailed as brilliant detective and devoted husband. Chelmy celebrates each successful case with his favorite treat, his wife's sweet potato fritters. Wow, who saw that one coming? He's so gruff that I never imagined he'd have a soft side like that. Hey, <laughs> just look at that old grump grunting over his plate of sweet potato fritters. I knew he was fussing over nothing when he said he hated su He hates sweets. Everybody's a liar. Everybody in this game's a liar. Hmm. That's right, Luke. He did say that. How very curious. This man's a lie. Oh, Lord. Who is this guy? So is the true one I'm hearing about the two of you? Are you really running about town in search of the Reinhold fortune? That's correct, sir. Currently, we are in search of a close friend of Baron Reinhold's. We believe he has entrusted this friend with an important note. Gracious, that's quite a search you have on your hands. Oh, excuse me. My name is Archibald. Gus, I mean, the Baron and I were great friends. Thick as thieves. We used to have the most amazing conversations late in the night. Do you think that perhaps I am the one you're searching for? Yes, I think so. What luck that after all the searching, we should bump into you in a place like this. I have one question. Do you recall ever receiving a small note or written message from the Baron? <laughs> no, I don't remember ever receiving anything of this sort from Gus. But he did give me a fine dust that once belonged to him. It's at home. Maybe it holds some kind of clue. The parents' desk, you say? Excellent. Would you like to come over to my house and take a look at it? You are most gracious. It would be if you be kind enough to allow us to look at it. We would be very grateful. I'm sure Gus wouldn't mind two fine puzzle lovers such as yourself looking over his desk. Hmm. Actually, let me impart a few pearls of wisdom on you while I've got your attention. Focusing on your case is all well and good, but if you don't solve some puzzles, you'll be sorry later. Don't make an effort to find puzzles around town and just solve the ones you can. Take it from this old timer. It's good to stop and smell the puzzles sometimes. <laughs> all right, I'll get off my horse now. Let's head on over to my house. Follow me. This is Gus's old desk. Take all the time you need to examine it. Splendid. Luke, let's get right to it. All right, let's check the desk out. Check the desk. 
Oh, we're literally checking it. Okay. Cool. Ah, found a note in one. It seems to be a note. It may point us in the direction of the golden apple. What do you make of this X? Hmm. I'm afraid I just don't know at the moment. All right, so it looks like we've we finished chapter five. Dope. 